How's it going? My name is Justin. The uh, topic I chose is drones in construction, so let's get into it. Presentation outline, what I'll be talking about is intro to drones, relative equipment, and different types of drones that you see on a typical job site for a commercial general contractor. All costs related, safety application if there is one, how drones are used on Texas job sites, conclusions, references, and questions. So why drones? Um, drones really in total are used to augment the job site. So what I've seen most in my probably about a year of being an intern with different commercial general contractors so far is uses from cut fill analysis, safety applications, project management, and quality control are among the top five. Uh, we can get into those and I mean just the main purpose of drones is just to enhance and augment the project team on site and make everybody's job a little bit easier. So which drones? Uh, again, speaking from a general contractor's point of view, uh, any drone with a good battery, camera, and ability to take high resolution photos and videos that you can upload and you know send out to the owner, architect, whoever part of the team, uh, that's crucial. Um, all the ones I've used are just the Mavic drones from DJI, uh, cost effective, good camera, etc. I mean, pretty cut and dry. Uh, cost associated, I mean, you can see in the photo in the background here, you're not gonna be breaking the bank. You can put this into the job cost whenever you bid a project, but I mean, you're gonna carry these drones from project to project. There's no job related costs. It's kind of like a one-time thing. Normally your um, company, the general contractor is gonna buy them and just kind of keep them as more of an, an office expense rather than a um, job expense. And then as we go and get more advanced, I start talking about different things. Um, you're gonna notice that the cost incurred, the biggest cost incurred is once we start getting into the um, software from the drones, not just the drones themselves. So are drones safe? The drones are incredibly safe. I fly drones, or actually that specific drone in the photo. Uh, we have that exact same one on my job site and I'll show you a few photos from my previous job sites and the one I'm on right now. I fly it day in, day out, take as builds, weekly progress reports, just send to the owner and architect. I mean, I, I fly it for a lot of different reasons. They're safe as long as a competent person is flying it. And of course, competent person just kind of goes off the fact of the people who are not really trained in the thing necessarily, but they're the ones that fill out your JSAs. They, they basically know what's going on. Uh, they're not just your run the mill labor guy. They, they got a brain to them. So Texas use, Texas companies have been starting to see the benefits and capabilities that drones can offer. Um, and they have been implementing them to Great, great lengths. Um, it's pretty simple. So as we get into the weeds, as I said back on slide five, the major cost when we implement drones and get into the advanced stuff, besides just taking pictures of as built and stuff like that, uh, that's going to be incurred whenever we get the dr uh, drone deploy software. Uh, I'm going to get into that here in a second, but drone deploy is making a big push on the market right now as far as software capability. And they're doing some pretty crazy things that I've seen and pretty getting pretty excited. Uh, advanced capabilities, what we can do is we can get an accurate cut and fill analysis. We can spot check grades using the drone. I've done that before by sitting in the office trailer. We were able to spot check grades on the site. Uh, project photo overlays, so we can kind of see how we were back in April of last year as compared to October of last year, or how we were at the beginning of this year as compared to today. Uh, cheaper site update photos, and then just a different view. I mean, you're not getting up there 120 feet in the air. Right, so autonomous. I'm gonna play these two videos real quick. You guys can just kind of see them. Um, okay, I don't know why that music's playing, but yeah. So you're gonna see these videos. This is a drone that we had on my old Bartlett Cock job site. Uh, it was actually autonomous, so it flew three times a day, seven days a week, and got accurate 3D modeling of the entire job site over 107 acres. So this thing takes off, takes off and flies from its hub that we had right behind our job trailer. Um, we didn't do anything, we just set a path for it, and it goes, and it gets us the model, and then we can do some pretty cool things with that model. So, pretty cool, pretty bougie. It was pretty cool to witness for the first time, too. So, getting more into it.
Cut and fill analysis, you can see right here where my mouse is, if you guys can see my mouse. You got a new trench cut right here. New stockpiles fill is what we've been learning in class. So you can see that kind of stuff. You can actually get a, I don't know if you guys can see on your end right here, but it'll actually give you a cubic yardage moved so far. So for my old project, we were able to see that we had moved over a million cubic yards of dirt from start to finish of the project. That was pretty cool. Gives us a lot more management uh, capability. So here, back up whenever I was at Bartlett, uh, we had that autonomous drone and all of it right now is kind of censored in material because it's, it's not on the market. It was actually a experimental prototype drone from DJI with experimental drone deploy software. So I only have a few photos and videos of it, but I don't have any videos or photos of the actual view that it can do. So what I'm going to talk about here, I'm going to give you an example. Um, we were doing a add-on and renovation to an existing middle school to turn it into a high school. So we were building a new baseball facility and softball facility for the school. Uh, we had an 18 foot retaining wall on the out, outfield fence of the baseball field because it was all 18 foot of fill right there. So we had to raise up the ground to make it level for the baseball field. So there needs to be a retaining wall to keep that dirt in, right? Uh, we had asked our dirt work contractor to go back and cut that wall. So our retaining wall people can go back there. Our trade partner for the retaining wall can go over there and make that wall, geogrid it and you know, whole nine yards. And they had told me that they had cut back. Me and my old assistant project manager went and checked. And from the office trailer, we were able to upload. So we have a 3D model right here, which is what I have right here, not on my job site, obviously. And then we have a CAD file with its um, topo lines and you have your um, just cat file your undulations right here so you're able to see where your grades are changing it's basically a topographic map and we were able to put that cat file on there and check to see where that grade was falling off and how much they still needed to cut or how much how much they cut too much of on a on a specific site so we were able to check grade from a specific or from the job trailer on a specific site or a part of the site just by using the drone's 3D modeling and layer, layering a CAD file on top of it. Uh, project progress overlays. So you can see right here, if, again, if you guys can see my mouse, I don't know if you're hearing or not. Um, you can see right here, I've done this before on that old drone, you're using Procore. Uh, you're able to go fly up to the same exact spot, take some photo, and then you can just click this button right here and it uploads the photo and changes the photo from, we'll say April 29th, like you guys are seeing right here, to you can go back, I mean, whenever you take another photo and you're able to see how that job has progressed from that same point of view from between those two photos and you can overlay, it shows you how much has changed, it highlights what has changed. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty cool. Here's the autonomous setup. So what we had done is we had created a flight path for that drone on my old project. And you can see with these green lines right here, that's where it was flying, taking photos. And it flies on that same path three times a three times a day, seven days a week to get us that accurate three D modeling, and it was it was pretty cool, pretty useful. I'm excited to see what it goes throughout my entire career and kind of how it progresses. Um, back in the day, uh, for project photos, like project update photos, you'd have to get a plane to fly over your job site. Obviously, not anymore. Part of my job and my current internship is I'm in charge of doing the weekly progress report. Super simple. I just fly the drone whatever our critical activities are, like whatever we're doing for critical path. Like right now we're hanging steel, pouring slab, uh, doing a 26 foot retaining wall that on top of the football field we're about, we're about to start making for the middle school, stuff like that. Mason's are topping out a CMU wall right now. So I'll go take photos of those using the drone, upload them to the weekly progress report and then get shown in our OAC meetings every single week. <coughs> so you're able to update the OAC team, the owner, architect and contractor uh, owners like cool stuff like that they like to see you utilizing cool technology and honestly drone photos are pretty cool it always wow all the people from their office so these two photos on the left are from my old Bartlett Cock job site we were doing an add-on reno to a middle school to turn into a high school so we we're doing a three-story elevated pan deck concrete slab and so you can see we were taking update photos for the owner right here we were hanging uh, hanging and pouring um, third floor columns that are gonna be attaching to our low roof right here uh, middle photo, we had just poured a slab right there, a suspended pan deck, and then this photo on my right hand side or on the right hand side of the screen. That's my current job site with small glass. We are doing a middle school ground up new job site or new um, new project, no existing structures for Judson ISD in San Antonio. So you can see how drones have been kind of 
widely used as four general contractors for both of my internships. Uh, I'm gonna play this video real quick. This is a drone photo of my old project with Bartlett Cock. This is what they have put, the owner had put on their YouTube channel for, or to update the public on how the job site is going. So you can just see a kind of 360 video of the job site. Super easy, I mean, but again, back before drones were a thing, you'd have to get a plane to fly by your job site and do this stuff, or you just wouldn't get that video. So pretty cool to see, nice and easy. to update the owner. Again, a different point of view, um, ability to conduct any of the previously mentioned tasks on site without having to sub out the work is extremely beneficial. Uh, I hope that drones are utilized to their fullest extent in my career and I'll definitely be utilizing them on my job sites as I progress up the uh, superintendent side of the tree. Um, review question, what's the biggest upside of drones? Cost affordability, easy to use. I mean, they're then they can be easily adapted to whatever task we have at hand. So. References, uh, yeah, pretty pretty easy. Drones are not hard, so appreciate it. Thanks.